Okay, we created position our rocks. Uh, we don't need to have it exactly the same size. What I find out better work, we can create a big, large hero rock. Okay, maybe like on a cliff. Actually, let's go cliff this way. Position, take it down a little bit in the ground. So this is will be our hero rock. And the next rocks what we create, we'll just place it around and it will create for our look like it is a lot of cliffs there. So we'll go click and create new rock. Okay, we'll same scale, just a little bit larger. We'll put it up front, bring it a bit down right here. So you can see we're already creating this kind of rock um, a like look. Okay, let's go create new rock. Again, we'll create a lot of them and we'll just go over the shore and Pointing them, so we'll do this way. Let's be adjusting. Actually, even move closer right there. And I'm looking because I don't necessarily need to create a bunch of different small rocks, but this will work. Okay, let's go to select this rock. Okay, also can select the small rock. Reposition now up to cover this area. You can see how we have this nice cover going around. Okay, let's bring down again right here. Also, other things we can do, hold down Alt or Option key. And when it's highlight, you left click and drag and you will duplicate your rock. So you don't necessarily need to create a new one. And by duplicating, rotating, rescale, you can actually create a different look. And because we are piling them together, you won't see that much difference. So example right here, we can do another one, place this on a back, increase larger size, just bring to the back right there. Let's rotate slightly. And there we have it a little bit more looking like piles of the rocks. Okay, so let's go ahead, create a few more. And we just, I want to put it a little bit more out in this area. So we'll take this rock rotating Around here, let's drop it to the ground and put a little bit more in. Again, I will take this rock, Alt, Option, hold it in drag, so we copy, create a larger scale, rotate as you want it. And notice it's a little bit more in the water, it's what I wanted. I want to actually create one rock that kind of will be sit on the middle of the water, almost like in the waves. So the water will go around and this rock you can see will sit on the middle of the water. Okay, we have it more rocks to place it for us. The other is we also can do is use it brush an ecosystem and brush those rocks on the shore. But um, right now I want just a hand placing them. So it will just create for me a little bit more kind of painting effect. That's what I want to do with this. Okay, we'll go create more rocks. Right here, let's create another one. We'll take this bigger size. Bring here, and you know what? I think rotation maybe even this way. Yeah, let's rotate. And I'm looking on the shapes, how it's over a look. I'll bring down a little bit more. So it's stick kind of going in the water, maybe a little bit across to the ground. Okay, let's select same rock, this one, alter option, copy, rotate it this way, change position. So it will create this coastal look. I you know, have nice rocks coming. Okay, I don't know if I want to do all the way rocks, but at least we have our rock right here. This is our far away rock. So we want to do just place some rocks around this area. And so this rock we also want to increase. Let's go to select maybe down here in a mountain and bring a little bit down. So it's almost will look like a cliff rock sticking out from here. So we have it 
nice beautiful look okay let's take this rock copy increase in size rotation it will bring closer position of the rock I don't know if the right there's something but um, maybe just put plant I think this area will look and will look better okay let's add now rocks around here so I'm just create few new ones because I don't want if they come closer we don't want to repeat them too much but we'll add a few rocks let's drop down and put it more in the ground okay create a few more right in this area I want to cover okay we'll go create right here a little bit more down and remember as you're going to save your work so we'll just go click right there fast save it as we process and we can also take some of this rock move it a bit behind drop it down to the ground rotate and place it just you can see we have nice rocks position going okay yeah I think this is look about right okay um, we could add more rocks and you know what let's put maybe a few of them closer to the house as well so we'll do it right there scale up and we'll just go flatten drop down on the ground and I'm going to bring in the ground like this so around here so kind of like almost the rock sticking out we know it's not just a one and again we'll go and put a lot of plants and other things okay so we create this rocks let's create a new folder and we'll take all of these rocks that we just have and move them in our folder so in this case we know this one is will be our rocks okay oops it's gone in wrong area okay right here our rocks um, at this point I'm not sure if I want to keep it my highlight we can leave for now and after we could replace with some different like sand looks so it will change or river band maybe even we can change with some different but for now uh, let's go inside our terrain and I want actually to hide okay we'll go to render and you can see we have our rock placements we do need work a little bit more now on the coloring those rocks so they will look a little bit more to the theme because they I think they're very very light but this is we can easy to fix so on this one we can go inside our material tab terrain and if we scroll down you can see right here we have our actual rocks all materials we just need double time click on material icon and this is open our rock material uh, things what we can modify it is our overall coloring so we, right here overall we can go select and the ground a little bit brown but I want to make it darker so I'll bring to the black click OK and you can see how our rocks will become quite a bit darker next also in highlights I want going and bring a little bit more to the dual so I don't necessarily want them shiny let's go ahead click OK and actually the rocks become very very dark so maybe it's too dark let's go to the color edit maybe bring a little bit brighter slightly and also this is effect with all of this additional with the parameters we have a gray and brown map and we can just try to maybe modify now it's too much scale let's go scale back bump a little bit more on a bump map you can see we still have a black ones there so we can go modify let's go click OK and 
if this um, does not necessarily look very good, then we need to actually modify even more. So in this case, um, maybe just go and change coloring even more. Um, I don't necessarily want to go inside the function editor. So we can modify there. I don't necessarily want to do this. Um, we want to do through our color because make it a little bit easy for us this way. However, sometimes it's necessary to depend how much we will work with those rocks, how much they will affect our coloring. So let's go back to reset, bring back a little bit up. Click OK. Again, I'm just looking at those black ones as look a little bit too over dark. Okay, they have become a little bit better. Let's preview. But I think the black is still a problem with overlaying colors. However, we have it a little bit more on a gray and brown. We maybe need to shift it a little bit more coloring to the brown and add coloring because I do like this color on the rocks, but this one is does not um, come up very well at all. Okay, let's go ahead, open again. I will go to publish and brown gray. So we'll go more towards brown mix. Okay, we'll take roughness. Let's see. Um, don't care about wetness, the color. Let's add just a little bit more to the brown color. Okay, and we'll go click OK. So this is, should adjust some of them, but we still have this black thing. So it's I don't necessarily like it. I think we're almost um, stuck to going. Okay, let me reset at this point. Okay, I just want to reset to the basic. Yeah, see they reset. They still have it even darker, little bit elements. So I think we're almost stuck to going inside function and edit some inside the meta node. So almost we need to go inside here and modify some of this. Uh, we can do to the edit our colors. And actually we don't I think necessarily even need any functions. So we, I think we can go from here and also edit our colors. So we can do through this area. Okay, let's go click OK. Edit color. So we can do from this one, or we can go inside the gradients, and inside the gradients we can also modify um, color. So for example, we can take those elements which is brighter and darken them out. But overall, because we're going to modify a quite bit of this, I'm not necessarily um, like to do because of this way we need to go and modify all of these elements at the same time, but it will be a little bit more accurate. Again, we don't need that blue. Edit color. So if we look on this, we can modify map. Let's go click OK. But again, the map you can see it um, when you go inside the node because some options in a node is um, affecting this coloring. It's get us to the extreme quite a bit. Okay, so here's one options. Another options we can always modify over all um, colors itself. And to modify, we can, this is a more kind of like a workaround. So we can also just create a new material, new layer. Okay. And in this layer, we can also go in and just change whatever we want to different color. For example, as natural green, I can say, hey, I want to, to do one color. And this is, will be my second color. So we have two colors. Let's just make a dual one highlight. Bump map. Uh, we'll just have it none or we can apply to other ones. Same alpha and notice what is happening. Okay, let's re-enable this one. It will actually override our colors, what we have it below. So if in this case, I don't want to go too much in the function editor and modify because 
uh, it will be totally different I want to concentrate more on a creative on this but with this effect I still can replace my colors but just creating a layer okay and it can be any materials it can be even PBR material actually you know until we do this maybe we should do that but I overall I can modify this material and with the overlay over my uh, material that exists below and override it so I can hide if I want to do this way so you know what let's do actually just example because all other ones is PBR let's do PBR for this one as well and we'll go switch right now on PBR and let's go ahead and just as example working with the R so first we'll go to our um, PBR color and we'll switch to the map it picture We'll go to preload. Let's go with this texture cliff. So we'll just use that color. Okay, we'll go to our bump. Say map it pictures. Yep, we'll go to preload it. And we'll go to preload um, heights for this one. Okay, we'll go to normals. Map it picture. Select it. We'll select normals for this as well. We don't have displacement, metallic, roughness. Yes, so let's go to preload it. Same, we have image for the roughness as well. Okay, right here, and if I'm right, this is our roughness. Okay, and we also have an ambient occlusion as well. So we'll go select it. And it's our ambient occlusion. So right here, we select the material which is overrided and put it on top. I want to just be sure my alpha boost is 100%. Click OK. And let's render and see how the, our rocks come up at this point. Okay, and you can, from preview, I can see coloring is much better, more integrated. And despite all the time I'm using to adjust the rocks, try to do one in another way, sometimes, um, you don't want to go inside a function editor that is modified. You want to just create it. So we can always just take shape in override. And you can see that I think this rock look much more into what we're going. Very nice. And again, we're using some materials to override, but we're still using those shapes that is created by the rocks. Okay, so I think this is good. And next we'll start actually painting our um, ecosystem, putting grass with this. So let's do this in the next tutorial.